Hey YouTube, how's it going? I haven't made a video in about a month, um, except for the one that I just posted like five minutes ago. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm trying to get caught up. Uh, in my last video, I showed you this ceramic knife. It's a ceramic kitchen knife with a blunt tip. Um, yeah, I've been using it in the kitchen. Oh, by the way, I've got a couple injuries. I fell on my bike. Yeah, it's all good. The bike's okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> back to the knife. Ceramic knife. I've been using it in the kitchen for a month now. Um, and it's still plenty sharp. Got no complaints about this knife. It works. Works just like it should. Anyway. Um, yeah. Nice, handy little knife. I kind of wish it was bigger. If they have a bigger one, I might go back and get that one. Uh, yeah. But, haven't broken it yet. Time will tell, right? <laughs> okay, this video is about Leatherman Warranty Repair Service. Um, I have nothing bad to say about Leatherman. I've owned several Leathermans uh, going back to when I was a little kid and my dad gave me one um, many, many years ago. Anyway, it was, it was the coolest thing I ever saw. <laughs> Um, I have sent in a couple of tools to Leatherman for repair, uh, I think two over the last 30 years, right? Uh, and in both cases, they just sent me a new one. Just no questions asked, just sent me a new one. Didn't even bother repairing it. And it was, it was a quick turnaround, less than two weeks. All right, so why am I making this video? My Leatherman Wave, the wire cutters were so dull that they would no longer cut wire. It kind of mangled the wire, and then I had to do this number to finally break the wire. Yeah, so the wire cutters were worthless, and everything else works perfectly. But, you know, I got tired of trying to cut wire, and it just wasn't happening. All right, so I sent it in to Leatherman. And I'm sorry I didn't film this from the very beginning, but I didn't think it was going to be a whole big thing. <laughs> right? I figured I'd send it to them. They'd either sharpen it or send me a new one, and that would be that. Uh, well, it wasn't that simple. Okay. I sent them the tool. Um, you got to go on the Leatherman website and print out the warranty repair form where you tell them what it is you're sending them and why and who you are. And you have to include that with your tool when you send it in. All right. No problem. Easy. Very easy. All right. So I did that. Sent it in. Um, uh, I don't know. Ten days later, I got a package from Leatherman. All right. Open it up. Uh, there's a nice letter saying we felt it would be in your best interest if we just replaced your tool with a uh, refurbished Leatherman Web. Okay, that's fine. It was like, I don't know, five years old anyway. Um, I didn't I didn't feel I deserved a brand new one. Uh, I just wanted them to fix the old one. But they sent me a refurbished one. Great. Cool. Life is good, right? Well, apparently they don't have, apparently they have a box full of these things. I don't know if they have a bunch of people like refurbishing them, putting them, taking them apart, putting them back together, throw it in a box. And then they have other people who are like opening the packages from the customers that looking at the tools and okay, we'll just give them a new one, take one out of the box, put it in an envelope and set it on its way. Apparently that's all there is to it. Um, I don't really know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, uh, but, but apparently based on my experience, nobody is doing quality control on those refurbished tools, 
All right. Nobody is taking one out of the taking them out of the box and opening them, checking them, everything. Everything's good. Put it in the box, inspected box, a QC box or something, you know? Um, yeah. So, what happened? The one I got, it took all my strength to open that sucker. All right? And then again to close it. Right? No good. Bullshit. <laughs> All right? <clears throat> then I thought, well, you know, it's okay. I can, I will oil it and I will work it until it's easy to open and close. I put a drop of oil on each pivot point. Opened it. Closed it. Opened it. Closed it. Another drop of oil on each pivot point. Open. Closed. Open. Closed. Did that several times. Open and close it at least a hundred times. I am not exaggerating. At least a hundred times. And it's still... Bullshit! <laughs> I didn't want to send it back. I just wanted... I just wanted a working Leatherman wave. Alright? Um, but... I think the, the, whatever you call them, the pins that hold it together, the screws that hold it together, I think they were just too damn tight. And I don't know if they lock tight them or what, but it takes a special tool. It's a, it's a Torx bit with a, with a, uh, it would have to have a hole in the middle because in the screw there's a Torx, it takes a Torx head, but there's a pin sticking through the middle of, middle of it. Okay, anyway, anyway, it was too damn tight. I didn't have the tool. I didn't want to take this damn thing apart. Um, so I sent it back. I sent him a letter saying, thank you for your speedy service, blah, blah, blah. I really love my leather, Leatherman tools. However, this is too hard to open. This is not right. And so sent it off yesterday got a package in the mail oh this is interesting has anybody noticed that the UPS see where it says UPS here UPS is shipping things to the post office and having the post office deliver them weird right how long has that been going on? Anyway, <laughs> that's beside the point. <laughs> anyway, so this is the second replacement Leatherman tool. You get to see <laughs> see how they did, all right? Ceramic knife. I want to be careful because this is the cheap ass uh, padded envelope that's full of recycled paper and it just goes everywhere if you cut it like I did. Look at that. Freaking mess. Whatever. Anyway, first the letter. Uh, dear Leatherman customer, we, we received your Leatherman tool for warranty service. We've determined that you are best served by providing a, a refurbished tool in place of your broken product. Okay, this is a form letter. This is the exact same letter they sent me last time. All right, so let's see how they did with the tool. Leatherman Wave. Leatherman Wave. This is a refurbished Leatherman Wave. Let's open it. It's stiff, but it's way better than the last one. Very stiff.
but yeah, it's getting easier already. There you go. Leatherman Wave, uh, Portland, Oregon, USA, American made, American company. Um, yeah, looks new to me. Everything is crisp and clean and everything is there that should be. Phillips bit. Oh, my Phillips bit was kind of worn. This one is not so worn. <laughs> Brand new. Um, can opener. File. My file was very much used. This is brand new. You know, I don't know what the process is for refurbishing, but look, the, all these blades look new to me. There are no scratches on the handle. Let's see if I can see the date. That's interesting. I don't see a date. Oh well. That's cool. It's back. I'm back in business. All right. Thank you, Leatherman. Uh, I got no complaints. I got nothing bad to say about Leatherman. All right. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Peace. Aha! I found the date. It's 12, 2012. <laughs> I was just curious. I, I don't even remember what mine was. Uh, 2000. <laughs> I don't remember. I should know, but I don't. <laughs> All right. That's it. Peace.